<laughs> Shuri, baby, you gotta stay quiet over there. I'm trying to tell these good people about a beautiful Star Wars Easter egg I discovered over the weekend. So if you can just, that would be beautiful. Now, folks, I'm gonna spin a yarn, and I'm sure you know it as much as I know it, but Baby Yoda is cute as hell. And one of the cute things he does all the time is he's a menace playing with that gear shift knob of the Razor Crest. Now, what if I were to tell you this is actually a deep cut reference to American graffiti? Now, folks, Star Wars wouldn't exist without American graffiti. So American graffiti is this really cool movie from 1973. Saw it over the weekend. It was the 50th anniversary of this movie. And so this movie takes place in 1962. And it's a very beautiful movie about coming of age in the 60s before all the disillusionment that happens to that generation. And it's kind of the first in many ways. First summer blockbuster made on a budget of $770,000 and brings in $140 million. You do the math on that. First modern credits. So George Lucas couldn't pay anyone. So he says, I'll give you a film credit in this as an extra, but that's all I can do. So the credits are long. You didn't have long credits until this movie. And so it's really cool that this movie is so defining in so many ways. And what happens is he makes all this money, puts it all into a project called Star Wars. So that's the beautiful thing. So American Graffiti is the reason we have the whole Star Wars universe. And so I know The Mandalorian, beautiful show, you got Dave Filoni, John Favreau, Smart Cookies. And what they do is they love George Lucas so much that they do this deep cut Easter egg. It's not even on the Star Wars Wikia. So that's why I'm even doing this video because I want to let the people know how beautiful this is. In American Graffiti, you have this cool relationship between Jim Milner and Carol. It's kind of like a sibling thing, even though they're not related. Let's catch him at the light. Then you jump down and fuck him. Hey, wait yes, do man. what I say. All right, boss. And Carol loves the gear shift knob on Milner's hot rod. Doesn't look like a gear shift knob. What is it? Come on, will you give it back to me? What's wrong? You're a tough guy. And so she's playing with it, and at the end of the film, he lets her keep it. Fine, kid. Gee, thanks. It's just yeah. like a ring or something. Yeah. It's like we were going steady. Yeah. Wait till I tell Marsha. Wait a Wait minute. Wait till I now. tell Don't everybody. Go overboard with this thing. Well, I'll see you around. And it's kind of symbolic of their special bond. And you know who else has a special bond? Grogu and Din Djarin. And it also is symbolic of their special bond. Not a toy. Come on. Think back. Hey, no, I'm not mad at you. You did good. And I just think that is cute as hell beautiful, and just something I just wanted to share with all y'all people. So give me a like, give me a comment, subscribe. If you knew this was an Easter egg, you let me know. I saw a few people talking about it online. I know I'm not the first to say it, but I didn't see anyone making a big production out of it. So Chewie and I just wanted to do something special for the Star Wars community and let people know about this beautiful Easter egg. And if you haven't seen American Graffiti, Go out and see it. Celebrate the 50th anniversary with us. So until next time, people, may the force be with you.